What's going on guys? This is Goofy Oop the Balls, bringing you guys the Infinite Warfare payload charge times today. I'm going to talk about the charge times, exactly how the payload charging system works, and what Overclock does. So the system is almost identical to Black Ops 3, just with different numbers. So I was going to test this myself, and then sure enough, last night, a data mine came out on Reddit actually, with a lot of this information. I didn't take it at face value, I double checked all the values that were on there just to be sure. And I'll get into that when I talk about the specifics of the system. So the basics of how the system works, each payload is assigned its own specific charge time. And then, depending on the game mode you're playing in, that charge time is multiplied by a certain multiplier that is assigned to each game mode. And then earning points sort of takes time off of that payload so you can earn it faster, and then overclock reduces that time as well. So that's the basic idea of how the system works. I just made a spreadsheet too with all the multipliers and the specifics of everything, so a link for that will be down in the description, and I'm also going to post it on Reddit. So getting into charge times, generally abilities charge much faster than weapons. And like I said, I double checked all the numbers on the data mine just to be sure. There was only one issue, it said combat burst as one of the payloads and that's actually not a payload. They must have meant to type rewind and I found that it didn't take 60 seconds, it actually took 50 seconds to charge but everything else checked out. I tested this all out in split screen just so I could test more payloads more quickly just to save time. And I'm going to put them all on screen here in a nice chart. So for the Warfighter combat rig, the Claw charges in 270 seconds, Combat Focus in 150, Overdrive in 70. For Merc, Steel Dragon in 290, Bull Charge in 150, Reactive Armor in 210, Synaptic, Equalizer, 280, Rewind, 50, Reaper, 310. For the FTL, the Eraser charges in 320, FTL Jump in 60, Phase Shift in 60. For the Striker, Gravity Vortex Gun in 310, Micro Turret and Centurion in 210. For the Phantom, Ballista EM3 is 300 seconds, Pulsar is 120, and Active Camo is 180. So now for the game mode multipliers, what I did is I took the phase shift, because that charges in 60 seconds in Team Deathmatch, and let it charge in each game mode, and tested to make sure that it aligned with the multiplier on the data mine, and all the ones on the data mine checked out, and I also added all the other ones for the other game modes that weren't included in the data mine, and again I'll put that up in a chart here. For Team Deathmatch, Frontline, Free For All, Defender, Demolition, Capture the Flag, Search and Rescue, Reinforce, Grind, and Drop Zone, the multipliers were all 1.00. For Domination, it was 1.65. Search and Destroy, 3.38. Kill Confirmed, 1.57. Hardpoint, 1.83. Uplink, 1.49. And Infected, 0.5. So we'll talk about the phase shift for an example. It charges in 60 seconds in Team Deathmatch, where the multiplier is 1.00. So if we want to find its charge time and uplink, we multiply 60 seconds by 1.49, and that will give us about 90 seconds. So that's how long it'll take to charge in uplink. And that's just how you would use these multipliers for any of the payloads. And in that spreadsheet, I took the charge time and multiplied it by each multiplier. So you can see exactly how much time it will take to charge each payload in each game mode. So moving on to points, from what I tested, each 100 score you get reduces the time you need to charge your payload by 5 seconds. So for example, if you're in Team Deathmatch, again, where the multiplier is 1.00, and you're using the phase shift, which is 60 seconds, let's say in 45 seconds you get 300 score, then you'll have your payload fully charged and ready to use. The way I tested this is, I went into the reinforced game mode, which I tested and has a 1.00 multiplier and I used the phase shift so I know it should charge in 60 seconds. And then I went and captured one flag which was 200 points, and I captured another flag which is another 200 points, and my payload charged in exactly 40 seconds. That means the 400 combined points that I got reduced my charge time by 20 seconds. And if you do some math, that means each 100 points reduced my charge time by 5 seconds, or each point reduced it by 0 .05 seconds, however you want to look at it. And then finally for overclock, it reduces your charge time by 1 6th, or by 16.666%. So the way I tested this is, I went into a game mode where I knew the multiplier was 1.00, I put on a class with overclock and then let my payload charge, and then I took down the time that the payload started to charge and the time that the payload stopped charging, and it took exactly 50 seconds. And if we do some quick math, that means that the payload charged in 83.333% of the time that it would normally charge, which means that overclock reduces the time needed to charge by 16.66% or by 1 6th. 
So that's it for this video guys, just a quick explanation on how the payload charging system works, what the payload charge times are, how overclock works, and how points affect your charge time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button for me, it really helps support my channel, and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.